Welcome to Radio 64. Gotta Start From Somewhere by Jorito, Hank the Spank Tank Jenkerson, Trev Wingnell, and the Nekonoru from ocremix.org. And again, welcome to Radio 64, video game music remix radio. Many of these tracks can be found at the website Overclocked Remix at ocremix.org. I'm your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dusk vs. Tweak. You can find past episodes of Radio 64 at youtube.com slash dusk versus tweak along with other great podcasts let's plays and other various videos the song you just heard was remixed from sonic the hedgehog the original source was from invincible title screen and title screen because there's a little sonic the hedgehog 3 in there and sonic the hedgehog the original game the music was by masoto nakamura that song is just it's a lot of fun it's springy, and it's energetic bluegrass take that I didn't expect to come out of Sonic the Hedgehog. I guess I never really connected bluegrass as being uh, such a fun way to take on the Sonic the Hedgehog music, but there it was. It's a lot of fun. I love the cheesiness of those original sound clip. Up next is a PS2 classic to some, one I still have to play. It's on my to-play list, and I need to get to it soon. I gotta download it on my PS3. I'm talking about... Aiko. So, the original soundtrack by Aiko was by Michori Oshima, as well as Pentagon, and this is from the tracks Continue and Heal. The song is called Save Me, OCR edit, by SGX. I've always found this to be chill take on the trance genre. The music is just, it's very relaxing, but it, it has a really great beat to it all. I actually played this song at my wedding reception. It, it's been a favorite, even though I've never played the game, I've always really enjoyed this track. And uh, at my wedding reception, we had a few 
oh, overclocked remix tracks playing and this this was one of them it's it's a great piece a little bit longer and I think it actually benefits from that because it allows you to just kind of fall back into it. This is Save Me OCR Edit by SGX from ocremix.org.
That was Save Me, OCR Edit by SGX, ocremix.org. One of my absolute favorites. I think a classic on the site. I hope you enjoy that. I really need to get to Ico. It's always looked great. I loved playing Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, I remember Ico had a little bit more of a mixed reception, but as soon as I get a copy of that, I'm going to get into it. So the next track is from Kirby Superstar, a Super Nintendo game. Also one that ended up on the Super NES Mini. I'm looking forward to playing that for the first time. I didn't really, outside of the Game Boy, I didn't play too much Kirby as a kid, it was the Game Boy and then the Nintendo 64. But this is from one of his Super Nintendo games. And this is actually from the Overclocked Remix album, Bad Ass, a collection of boss themes. And this one is a remix of King Dedede's theme. The original source was called Great King Dedede's Theme, and it was by John Ishikawa. This is arranged by the Joker, and it's called The Last Dance. And it's just a really dark, atmospheric, almost, I wanna say, slightly depressing, take on a Kirby song in general, but I, I've always found it very darkly textured. This is The Last Dance by The Joker from the Badass Album at ocremix.org.
That was The Last Dance by The Joker from the Badass Album at ocremix.org. I guess I'm just playing a bunch of tracks from games I've never played because I played the first Mist for about an hour. I was a small child and I had no idea what to do. I remember Mist looked gorgeous. I remember it looked fantastic and I just wanted to explore the world and I had no idea what to do. And after about an hour, I said, I don't think this is for me. I, I must have been like 10 years old or whatnot. But this track is based off of the song Wheels of Wonder from Miss 3, Exile. So no way would I ever get to Miss 3. I have a friend who played the Miss games, and, and he has fond memories from them. Miss 3, Exile, was originally composed by Jack Wall. So this is Wheels of Wonder. This is from the American album, which is an album that was put together by Maze Dude. Maze Dude is one of my favorite remixers on Overclocked Remix. He always has this really dark, kind of twisted style that I can really sink my teeth into. This track is called American Wheels of Wonder by Maze Dude from ocremix.org. That was American Wheels of Wonder by Maze Dude from ocremix.org. I don't think I'll ever go back to trying the Mist games. I think the point-and-click adventure games are not for me. I'm not super great at puzzles, but who knows? Never say never. Maybe I'll at least give the first Mist a go. Our next track is... I, okay, I could promise you we are going to get to some games that I have actually played because I didn't have a GameCube. 
growing up. I jumped from the Nintendo 64 to the PS2, and I never looked back. But part of me now kind of regrets having not played too much GameCube games. Though I don't think Star Fox Adventures is necessarily looked back on as a classic. However, uh, I did come in possession of a copy recently, and I mean... Star Fox Adventures was rare doing a kind of Zelda-style game uh, that wasn't really working out, and so they brought Star Fox into it to help uh, solidify the brand a bit. I, I remember this getting a lot of mixed to positive reviews. It it doesn't seem like it's a a beloved title, but I'm, I'm still looking forward to playing it, if only because it's full of dinosaurs. And I remember following this game in magazines back when it was just called Dinosaur Planet, this track is based off of the sources Early Thorntail Hollow Day and Early Thorntail Hollow Night uh, by Ben Collin and David Wise. Uh, this track is by Level 99 and Luzza. It's called Fossils Oasis. And I just really like the acoustic electric combination in this. I think it's a cool rock piece. One that, even though I'm not familiar with the source tune, I was really able to get into. So this is Fossils Oasis by Level 99 and Lulz A from ocremix.org.
That was Fossil's Oasis by Level 99, Luza A, from ocremix.org, from the game Star Fox Adventures. One I am going to be playing soon. I've got a Wii still, and I've got the, the Star Fox Adventures GameCube disc lying around. A game I have played! We're back! We're back to me knowing what I'm talking about a little bit. This is from Kingdom Hearts. Originally dearly beloved and simple and clean. The music was originally by Hakuru Utada, Yoko Shimomura. Uh, Yoko Shimomura, as we talked about in previous episodes, responsible for the Street Fighter 2 soundtrack. What a legend. Here she is creating the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack as well. Fantastic. I, I absolutely loved the soundtrack for Kingdom Hearts. I thought it was so good. I was so excited to play Kingdom Hearts. There was no irony in my heart when I found out this game was going to be Final Fantasy mixed with the Disney characters. There was no part of me that was embarrassed that I was going to be playing Donald Duck and Goofy alongside Cloud and Squall and having to fight Sephiroth and Jafar. I was all in. I, I was excited. The game looked great. It sounded great. I enjoyed the combat. It was it was such a fantastic game. I still look back on that my time playing Kingdom Hearts very fondly. This track is called Simply Be Grooved by Tetrimino. Tetrimino is a collection of musicians that are playing this track live. It's a quartet. It has a very groovy sound, I think. I mean, you know, it's in there. Simply Be Grooved is the title. So this is called Simply Be Grooved by Tetrimino from ocremix.org.
Simply Be Groove by Tetrimino from ocremix.org. And I still need to play Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm so close to playing it. I have the disc. I have the PS3 copy of it. I got the, my PS3 from my sister. I'm ready to go. I just haven't yet. I was actually playing Kingdom Hearts 2. Played the first four hours, which is the dumb other ca- Roxas area. Got past that, and then the disc was skipping on the PS2, and I never was able to get past it. But now I'm ready. I'm ready to move. So this track is from Donkey Kong Country 3, but it's actually from the Game Boy Advance version. So Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble for the Super Nintendo, was mostly done by Evelyn Novakovic with some help by David Wise. When they ported it over to the Game Boy Advance, the whole soundtrack was redone by David Wise. So this track is actually from Donkey Kong Country 3 for the Game Boy Advance, uh, music by David Wise. This is from the track Stilt Village. I, I didn't really get on with Donkey Kong Country 3. I loved the first two games, but 3 did not. I got it maybe about halfway as a kid and was just kind of like, I think I'm done. This track is by Fishy, Harmony, Jeff Ball, and Theophany called Beneath the Moonlight. It makes me want to play Donkey Kong Country 3, but it makes me want to play the Game Boy Advance version specifically. So this track is long enough. Let's play Beneath the Moonlight by Fishy, Harmony, Jeff Ball, and Theophany from ocremix.org.
That was Beneath the Moonlight by Fishy, Harmony, Jeff Ball, Theophany from ocremix.org. The original track was Stilt Village by David Wise. And that track actually was from Donkey Kong Country 3, Double the Trouble, which was an overclocked remix album where they remixed Donkey Kong Country 3 for the Super NES and the Game Boy Advance. So that's actually a really good, rich album. A lot of tracks on there to really sink your teeth into. I definitely suggest going to check that out. So up next is a first for the site at time of recording. It's their first Sea of Thieves. That means this is from Summon the Megalodon by Robin Beanland. Sea of Thieves, a lot of fun. You have to make your own fun because when, when I at least started playing it, they didn't have a lot of story in there, a lot of quests to do. You just picked up quest went out and got some treasure chests, turned them in made some money then you got back on the ocean and did it again it, it could get very repetitive i think uh something i necessarily wouldn't get into but i play it with a friend him and i usually have a good time you end up laughing quite a bit because we get into trouble playing that game we either get killed we lose treasure we find other pirates and they steal our treasure you have to play sea of thieves i think with other people this is called a shark hunter's tale by dusk with a capital k at the end a really cool take on uh, a song that you end up being able to play whenever you pick up one of the instruments in the game as your character so a shark hunter's tale by dusk from ocremix.org
That was A Shark Hunter's Tale by Dusk from ocremix.org. Me and my friend haven't played Sea of Thieves in a bit. I think last time we really took a hit. We, we lost a whole bunch of treasure in the ocean and it was real depressing. And <laughs> I think I've had a hard time getting back into it. Up next is a track from The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings from the source Dwarven Stone upon Dwarven Stone. I plan to get to The Witcher games. I'm going to start the first game. I thought I was going to play Witcher 3 without playing the first two. The completist in me wouldn't allow me to do such a thing, so I decided I was going to start with Witcher 1. The completist in me wouldn't allow me to do that, so I read all the Witcher books. I basically spent all last year reading the Witcher books. I uh, really, really enjoyed them for the most part. I enjoyed the short stories a little bit more than the actual novels, but I definitely suggest whether you have or haven't played the Witcher games, maybe at least check out the first Witcher book, and if you like it, check out the whole series. This is by Prophetic Music and Merrigan. Fun fact, Prophetic Music built my computer. He's actually, uh, he lives not too far from me and he was able to build my PC for me. This is a cool New Agey Celtic track. That's Merrigan on the vocals. Great, great voice work on this. So this is Cam Elaine Lund by Merrigan and Prophetic Music from ocremix.org. That was Cam Elaine Lund by Merrigan Prophetic Music, ocremix.org. The Witcher 2, Assassins of King. The final track today is from Tetris. This is called Crimea River by Sir Nuts. The original track was A-Type. You're all familiar with A-Type. Everybody's played Tetris, is that safe to assume? If I, if I met somebody who hadn't played Tetris, I... I think I would try to help them correct that very quickly. It, 
uh, it would kind of blow my mind that you could play anything and have never played Tetris. This is actually from another album from Overclocked Remix. It was called Legacy Game Boy 25th Anniversary. So this was 2014. We're at the 30th anniversary of the Game Boy right now. This was five years ago, this mix. Yeah, I mean, what can I say about the A-Type track from Tetris? It's, it's so memorable. And considering how much Tetris I played on the original Game Boy, it's just ingrained in my head technically isn't a piece that was originally for video games. It's actually a Russian folk song, which was then used in Tetris, but it, I think it's now so synonymous with Tetris. You can't, you can't escape it. So this is Crimea River by Sir Nuts from ocremix.org. <laughs> Crimea River by Sir Nuts from ocremix.org from Legacy Game Boy 25th Anniversary Album. That is the show. Thank you for listening to Radio 64. You can find past episodes of Radio 64 at youtube.com slash dusk versus tweak. That's my name everywhere online. I'm Eric Mickles, again, known as dusk versus tweak. If you have any video games that you'd like to hear remixes from. If you have any re remixes that you would like to hear on this, please don't hesitate to find me on Twitter at Dust vs. Tweak and let me know. Again, thank you to WRAQ 92.7 FM. You can listen live to this every Monday at 6 o'clock, part of Angelica's local radio station. Also on WRAQ 92.7, you can find me on the All The Books show every Wednesday night at 9. You can also find the All The Book Show at soundcloud.com slash allthebookshow. Thanks for listening, and see you next episode.